Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotex Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress plugin with TinyMC editor and this is our part 4. In this video session guys, we will see that how can we attach our custom functionality with TinyMC custom toolbar buttons. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about WordPress plugin with TinyMC editor. So basically guys what we have done so far we have uploaded all the code to this github link you can download all the codes from that github repository so if you go to browser now this is our github repo so if I click on any of the file so last time actually we have worked on editor.js file where we have added some of the setting options so if I click on that just scroll down so here are the options that we have added so these repository I have actually updated with our last video session so you can download all the codes from this github link okay so basically what we are going to do inside this video session so if you go to post section click on add new now here we have added two buttons something called icon for our OWT console button and OWT alert button so if I click on any of these buttons nothing happened because we didn't code anything about these buttons so we are going to set some of the functionality for these buttons inside this video so just back to editor now this is our JavaScript file called editor.js okay so by the help of this JavaScript file guys we are going to attach some of the functionality to those buttons so let's say that this is our editor console button so we are going to attach some of the basic functionality to this button okay so let's say that we are going to attach a property called on click means what happens when we click on that button so on click let's say on click here is a function inside this function we have to write some code so let's say that console.log or let's say alert hi I am running so this is a simple alert actually we have written inside on click event on click also a property of this add button object property okay so by clicking on that button this alert actually will be fired okay. so if I save this file just go to browser hard refresh to this page so when I click on OWT console button so I am clicking on that here is the alert something called hi I am running so this is the start off of implementing functionality to these buttons so this is the first way to attach our functions so back to editor now if I just cut this function from here go inside let's say that I am separating that function by the help of a function so let's say function and it's simple alert from outside this is a simple function that we have made outside of the tiny MC plugins okay so this is a function simple function we have made so if I copy this function name so just copy this function name go up and here is the on click event listener so I have to call just this function for here okay I have defined this function right below here is the code means we have separated this code from into two different section okay so if I suppose they save this file go to browser reload this page click on this button again it's working it means that we, here we have two options either we can attach all the functionality by making a function block I or we can just separate this function as a separate function definition and pass the function name right here inside this on click event listener so this is all about by the help of on click property so what we have next next we have a same property which actually implement our functionality called CMD basically this is a command okay so let's say that I'm going to implement some functionality to this alert button okay so let's say that CMD basically it is referred as command for this add button okay so let's say that call my function call my function this is a function we have attached inside this CMD 
property okay next we have to define this command so let's say that editor dot add command inside this add command we have to pass the first parameter as the command name so let me copy that and paste it here next we have to define some of the functions to this command okay so let's say that alert I am running by the help of CMD property so this is a simple alert guys we have implemented inside this add command method in which this is the command and here is the command we have passed inside CMD property of add button okay so if I save this file go to browser reload this page so when I click on this OWT console button it is running when I click on OWT alert it is also running but remember guys these are the two things we have separated into two different properties this one is actually attached by on click property and this one is by the help of CMD property so if we back to editor so these are the things that we have studied so far so next what we want when we want that when we click on the editor alert button we want to open a pop-up manager a pop-up window for that button okay so if I just back to folder structure why not actually we will make a separate button for that right now we have only two buttons okay so if I copy this button section let's make a new button called editor pop-up this is a new button we have defined inside MC buttons and this is the key we have specified so by the help of this key we are going to define we are going to implement some of the functionality to this button so just copy this editor pop-up save this file go to editor.js file and let's say that editor dot add button so we are going to add button and this is the key name for that button called editor pop-up next we have to define some of the object for this so let's say object inside this object we are going to provide some of the setting options so first let's say text let's say OWT pop-up this is a simple button we have implemented or added so if I save that click on OK reload this page so here is the button called OWT pop-up so if I click that nothing happened okay so let's say that we are going to open a pop-up so I am going to provide some of the commands for that so CMT let's say that OWT open pop-up okay so this is a command so basically we have to define this command so editor dot add command inside this add command first property that we have to pass something called OWT open pop-up this is the parameter right here in the second parameter we have to define this command by the help of anonymous function so let's function inside this function guys we are going to open a pop-up so let's say that editor dot window manager dot open okay so inside this open we have to pass some of the parameters to this window so right here we have to attach some of the simple property to this window so let's say that first of all it's a title so simple model next I'm going to define some of the height and width for this window so let's say height something called 400 and let's say width something called let's say 500 so if I save that just go to browser reload this page so now what what happens actually when we click on this button by clicking on this button actually this command will be fired because we have attached with this command along with this button so by firing on this command actually we have made some of the command section some of the function for this so this is the function actually fire up and open up a window manager okay so let me click on that so here is the window that we have made something called simple model right now this simple model has three properties called a title called height and called the width 
okay so there is no content inside this model because we haven't passed any content for this model so in the next video session guys we will discuss about that how can we pass some of the comments some of the content some of the inputs to this window manager as well as we'll discuss about how can we add some of the text inside this editor by clicking on these buttons because this is a basic setup of that how can we set our custom functionality along with our custom tiny mc toolbar buttons let's make a summary before closing this video so what we have done so far we have m many ways to actually to attach our custom functionality with these buttons first either actually we can attach or on click property by the help of this on on click property either we can make a function here or we can just separate by making a function into different section and by passing this name in the second way we have seen that how can we use of cmd property on specifying cmd property we have to define this command by using add command method also we have seen that if you want to open any window after clicking any of the button so here we have to open called editor.windowmanager.open so these are the things guys that actually we have studied inside this video session in the in the next video session guys we will discuss about that how can we add more functionality on these buttons along with these settings so if you have any doubt in this video session guys then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day